Hey everybody, Jessica Ostrom here. I was not planning on going live this morning um, on this page at all. Um, I usually keep my monthly energetic broadcasts to my second Sunday feed, which will be next Sunday, but hey, times are cray cray right now, aren't they? Um, and I really wanted to jump online and um, just kind of address a different perspective for all of you. Um, if you're living in the United States, you're probably scratching your head and wondering what happened to all the social distancing because the social distancing has now turned into public riots and huge amounts of people all over the place taking the opportunity to express fear differently, right? Fear expressed differently can look like rage. It can look like um, all kinds of things. So if you're living in the U.S. and hopefully you're not participating in all that um, hoopla, you are watching me, right? You're on social media watching uh, life unfold. And I wanted to uh, give you guys a different perspective. Um, I really, really try to edu educate the masses all over the world that you are creating your own reality, that frequency and vibration dictate and manifest your reality. So you're probably looking around going, what is going on? If you've been following me since the beginning of the year, I told you that 2020 was going to be your personal and collective vision quest. Vision quest back into love, back into yourselves, back into um, unity. So in order for unity to um, move into uh, divine sight, we must go down deep into the shadow and uproot all things that are not a vibrational match to love. And that's what's happening on a global scale constantly this year. This year is not going to get easier. You're going to get stronger. You're going to get more courageous. You're going to wake up even more because usually pain is our first teacher. It's that pressure that teaches us that we are uncomfortable, that we don't like the way things are, that we want things to change. So we're utilizing right now that last phase of the global awakening process as pressure point to get you to move. Now, this message is really for the collective guides, way showers, healers, practitioners, teachers, okay? Because we have a completely different responsibility right now. Our responsibility is not to be the looky-loo and have opinions. Our job right now is to put into a collective a different vibration, right? The heart field has a vibration within it that can cover and manipulate energy millions of miles away, only using the heart field. Now, the mind is completely controllable, right? It's controllable through thoughts, words, actions, deeds, and frequency and vibrations, sound, sight, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're feeling, coming from the mind. The body is trying to discern what it means, but the heart, okay, you guys, your heart is not hypnotic in the form of it cannot be controlled by anyone other than the universe within you, all right? Now, if you want to take back your present moment right now, if you're wrapped up in the fear or if you're judging the judges or if you're upset that your classmates are, you know, posting political rants on, on social media, you're still part of the problem. And the reason why is because whatever you're looking at right now, you're growing within you. And in order for you to pull back out of the grand hypnosis that is happening right now, you guys, the grand hypnosis right now of the collective movement of the divine um, plot that is unfolding right now, is through separation and control. There's two games on the planet, you guys. There's separation and fear, and there's unity and love. There is only two choices ever on this planet that you can make personally, okay? Emotionally, chemically, that's it. You're either tapping into one or you're tapping into the other. So what you're looking at is growing because you are the seed of consciousness that looks through the projector as the light and projects the picture and image into physical reality. You, you are responsible for what you're seeing, for what you're hearing, and what you're feeling, okay? That doesn't mean that you're making all of this up and you're causing the problem, but you do have the antidote and the solution within you, 
And it is something that cannot be hypnotized. It is something that cannot be controlled. It is something that cannot be owned other than you, okay? And that is your heart. What is your heart telling you right now about everything that's going on? I know what your mind is telling you. You're, you're devastated. Maybe even your heart spring, strings are being pulled for the people, places, and things that are, that are unfolding and unraveling and breaking down right now. But that's all part of the divine program. It is about letting it explode and unfold so that you may feel your way back to yourself. So you may get right with yourself. So you may work on the issues that are coming up within yourself and you can be part of the solution. So if this grand hypnosis is being expressed through separation. Let's look at what the virus did. The virus created a grand separation. Now it was a calm separation. It was about pulling back and in duality, it always backfires. Duality is the most exquisite expression of consciousness there is because you can have two opposing forces and they work in unified structure to move you back to love. Because what the virus actually did was it brought us closer to ourselves. Game on, worked, right? Well, now that the propaganda and people are starting to realize that people are not as sick or are healing from this if they're not dealing with some sort of, um, you know, already pre-existing condition, that they're not really that afraid of the virus anymore and they're starting to go out. Stores are starting to open. Businesses are starting to open back up. You know, all of us out there that are entrepreneurs could be affected by the rules and regulations of what we're being told we're allowed to do, like open our businesses. Luckily for us, uh, weirdos that do teach online, we really haven't been affected by anything. We've probably been busier than ever, but it is our job to help facilitate opportunities and, um, and instruction for those who are scared and worried right now. So if your mind can be hypnotized, get out of your head. And I'm going to tell you guys, the reason why I went online today was because there's a little bit of reminding that I got to give you guys if you're getting caught up in what is, all right? You are the creator of your reality. You get to choose what you see. It's, it's not an act of irresponsibility to pull your focus away from a riot on TV and go love your neighbor. So I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys some ways for you guys to unhypnotize yourself from this push-pull of duality that you're feeling and move back into alignment so that you can create and manifest a huge opportunity for the world by you being truly a, uh, a reflection of love. Okay, so ways for you to get out of your head and into your heart. Nature, nature has a frequency of 528. It's going to pull you back to who you are. Your breath, as soon as you start pulling back in your breath and breathing your body, you are no longer controlled. You are no longer being hypnotized. You are in the driver's seat. You are the commander in chief of this vehicle and you get to say how you feel once again. Okay, positive high frequency music, orchestrated music without lyrics right now. We're talking, you know, Beethoven, classical, good feeling music, heart-based love, anything that's going to pull you out of what is and into what could be. Remember, music is our soundtrack to our emotions. We can utilize music to move back into the rhythm of our heart very easily. You're one song away from being deprogrammed, okay? Running water. Get near running water. Get in water. Be around clear, fresh water, whether it's a lake, a mountain, a river, uh, a bathtub, a shower, whatever you have access to, at least once a day, commune with water. Water is holding the frequency for you of infinite possibilities. Get into a sauna, right? Get around bodies of clean moving water. It's going to interrupt the deprogramming of the, the, excuse me, the programming in your root chakra and it's gonna start breaking up all of those high base sheeple patterns that are moving in there and it's gonna bring you back into resonance of unity and connection versus attachment and suffering. So we've got music, we've got water, we've got breath. We've got turn off your TVs, get off social media and start living your life. Learn to surf, learn to paint, learn to draw, go donate all that stuff in your garage to those that are needing right now. Go clean up your community, go help an entrepreneur with his business, start a business, 
tell a positive story, write some poetry, get into the creative frequencies of the I am. This is going to vibrate you personally higher than the mass hysteria that is going on because even if you're not in the United States right now, you're watching this and the observation factor of the witness can be just as intense on the being as it is if it was happening. Okay, it's not happening where I am personally, but it's happening in my downtown, right? It may not be happening where you are, but it's happening in your downtown. Now, we have to remember that this game is about separation. So if we separate from each other, if I start judging my fellow classmates for posting something, if I start judging my community for having a riot, then I am actually part of the problem, not the solution. So your solution is to be an example. How can you be an example? How can you demonstrate kindness when you don't want to be kind? How can you demonstrate love when it doesn't feel like there's much love? Well, if there's not feeling like much love and you're not feeling kind, you're being programmed because that's not your natural state. Your natural state is kindness, joy, love, and expression of excitement and play. Be the change you wish to see. Stop following the fear reports. Even if you're not buying into it, if it's bringing up negative emotion within you, you are being programmed. Maybe at a subconscious level, right? So don't get all pridey and say, well, I'm not buying into that, but it sure pisses me off. If it pisses you off, you're looking at it. Go get out of that story. Get into your story. What would you rather see? This is a really good opportunity for all of us to live as the example of that which we want to see on the planet. So water, music, donate things, um, you know, help your community, right? Go tell positive stories, share positive stories online. If you're around social media and you cannot get yourself off for some reason, make it your personal mission that every time you see a negative story, you post three positive stories of what is going right on this planet that there are some amazing shifts happening. There's amazing growth happening. There's amazing love moving back. This wouldn't be happening, you guys, if we weren't winning, right? The COVID thing stopped doing its job of separation. So let's roll in plan B. Let's, let's roll in a race riot. Great, so what's next? A school shooting, another relapse of the COVID, maybe some terrorist activity. You guys notice how this is all political? And it's designed to keep you feeling codependent on a system that is constantly providing you false abundance, false abundance. It's giving you a false abundance. Now you get to be the creator of your reality because there's two games on planet earth. There is that of fear and there's that of love. There is that of hell on earth, which most of us have lived through and we're already done with that. And the world of unity and love where we actually get along, we take care of each other because even though there's a lot of stuff being publicized right now. There is also tons and tons and tons and thousands of people going and cleaning up the messes, scrubbing the walls, helping assist the families, helping assist businesses that have lost, you know, money during this last uh, week. You know, my, my downtown opened up one week ago and as of last night, it's all boarded up, right? So how can I be a solution to that? I have my plans for the day. I hope you guys have your plans for the day. Remember, if you start feeling bad, don't go with it. You want to go into the good feeling space and be the example and the change that you can create on this planet right now. Because if you call yourself a light worker, if you call yourself a way shower, a guide, a prophet, a healer, then it is your job to reflect the example of light, right? Our job as light workers is to go into the dark with the light, right? But we're not going with the dark. We're bringing light in. It is our job and we have all been called to action here. So let's step forward and make this an amazing weekend. Let's step forward and help our families, help our neighbors. Let's let our kids play outside. Let's do what we can do and share and promote love right now. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope to see all of you offline today and outside, even if it's raining, get in your garage, clean it out. Let's do some donations. Let's move through the seven steps of manifestation with ease, guys, right? Desire. Desire what you want to see. 
visualize what you want, intend, use your imagination to imagine a world that exists one year from now if you, if the example of your heart would ricochet throughout the world, right? Act on inspired action. What is my heart desiring today? Dive into service. Dive into service. Be of service right now. And seven step of manifestation is always surrender. Surrender to love. Surrender to kindness. It's rather to be kind than right right now. Your opinion means nothing. Go out and be an example. I will see you guys all next week for Second Sunday.